Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things, and as I predicted, I am doing a USPS mail update and envelopes for my 2021 Christmas cards. So this is the first batch ready to go, and I was in there at the post office two days ago to pick up a package sent to me, and while I was there, I asked about Christmas stamps, and then I also had two cards to send off that they weren't Christmas cards and she informed me that the re most recent postal rate change m makes you buy for non-machinable notice all of these are non-machinable because they're lumpy and bumpy so you now need a regular forever stamp which is 58 cents the additional ounce used to cover the cost of non-machinable it no longer does you have to supplement an additional ounce which is a 20 cent stamp with 10 cents because non-machinable is now 88 cents so very important here is a, this is it called non-machinable so this stamp is 88 cents to buy it includes the regular forever postage plus the extra 30 cents to make it non-machinable. So these unfortunately aren't holiday themed and it's all they had. So I went ahead and bought some holiday stamps. In this case, I bought a couple of sheets of the otters in the snow. That was 58 cents. Then I bought more Uncle Sam's hats that are 20 cents. There's also uh, a corsage and bunnies or a bunny so there's a couple of different cute styles of the extra one ounce if you don't like the Uncle Sam's hat and so again Uncle Sam's hat is 20 cents so there's that with the 20 cents and I am now writing the postage on each of these sheets so that I keep track of them and then in the end because I chose to use a Christmas themed regular forever stamp I then need to addendum an extra 10 cents and luckily I had some of these but I did buy a few more sheets so be sure if you are a card sender that you if it's lumpy and bumpy and you know you do non machinable be aware that you have to pay an extra 10 cents and an additional ounce will no longer pay for the postage so that's all I've got here's how I decorated my envelopes for the year I went ahead and used a stamp this is from Winsy and Wonder and then I did really scribbly coloring in three different um, jelly roll type pens and I wrote in either green ink, gold ink, or black inside. So that is what I did for this year. I hope I have caught you guys in time. For those who have not sent their cards out, I will get this posted just as soon as I possibly can after I get these sent to the post office. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns here on this video or over on my blog. Again, I'll be back in January, so I am going to be taking a couple weeks for the holidays to rest and relax and make some game plans for next year's cards. My Winter is Coming Wednesday series will begin mid-January. I think last year I started it in February, but this year I'm going to start it in January because I still had to make a bunch of extra cards. And the total cards that I am sending out for just for Christmas was 51, which is the most that I have sent. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.